Wow, this is going to be the most useful video that you watch this year. If you're learning English or if you use English for work, for studies, or just for communication at all, then this is going to completely change how you think about English. My name's Chris from chrisamericos.com where we help you level up and show the world the best version of yourself. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use chat GPT to correct your English mistakes so you never make a mistake again. And I know that's a big promise, but this video is going to be so useful that I can make that promise. Let's get ready. Recently, a program became available to the public called ChatGPT from a company called OpenAI. If you want to find it, you can just go to chat.openai.com and you can start using ChatGPT right now. But what is ChatGPT? It's a chat interface where you can ask questions and get answers, very similar to Google. So we can ask Google, for example, how do you write a business email in English? And it will give us all of the results from different web pages on the internet. It'll send us to different websites that have different answers for this question. And you have to scroll down and search through all of these answers. But if we go to ChatGPT and we ask the same question, for example, how do you write a business email in English? Then it will produce the answer in front of us. It will write instructions on how you can do this. <sighs> I'm not typing anything right now, okay? This is just the program writing it for me. Now it's writing an example of a business email in English that you can model and you can use in the future. All right, it's finished. And now we can check and see if this looks right or not. So let's go here. It says some of the key elements to include in a business email are a clear subject line, a salutation, like a greeting, the body of the email, a closing, and you need to use proper grammar and spelling and proofread before sending the email. And then it gives us the example. Subject, invitation to the annual meeting. Dear Mr. or Ms. last name, I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to invite you to our annual meeting, which will be held on date at time at location. So you can just change the date, time, location. You can change the name of the person. And now you have a template that you can follow for your business email. And that's really cool that you can get the answer like that. And you don't have to search through all of those search results like you do on Google. But let me show you something even cooler. Instead of asking a question to ChatGPT, let's tell ChatGPT what to write for us. So let's say write an example business email asking Mr. Smith when he is available for a Zoom call. And now we can sit back and we can wait for ChatGPT to create this email text for us. So you can see it's already writing and I'm just speaking to you while it's writing. I'm not writing this in front of you, I promise. This is automatically created because this is using technology called A or artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence uses computers, code, and algorithms to do things that humans usually do. So in this case, humans usually write the answers to questions, but instead a computer can do it for us. The computer in this case on ChatGPT is searching the results from the internet and using this information to give us the information that we're asking for. It can even create unique answers and responses to the questions that we're asking and we can tell it to do a task and give us the answer too. And that makes it very different from Google. In the last 10 to 20 years, knowing how to use search engines like Google gave you a big advantage in the world. You could find a lot of information very quickly and then use it to build a business, to sell a product, or just to look cool to all of your friends. But now we are in the age of AI, artificial intelligence. And in the next two to three years, people who know how to use AI are going to have a very big advantage. There are already many companies using artificial intelligence to make their products better, but there are also new companies that are opening up, focusing just on using artificial intelligence to do tasks 10, 
20 or 100 times faster than people could traditionally do them. I've already shown you the example of writing a business email, but just think what else you could use this for. Let's tell it to write an essay like we would at a college or a university. I'm gonna start a new chat and I'm going to ask it to write an essay about global warming and it's writing this text that I could copy and use somewhere else. It's very easy to select this text and just copy and paste. Now you might be thinking, okay, Chris, that's cool, but global warming is a topic that a lot of people write about, so maybe it just took this article from somewhere on the internet. But you can actually tell it to make changes to the text. So it's not just taken and given to you, it's actually created. Let's tell it to rewrite this essay, but this time, instead of saying global warming is bad, let's tell it to say that global warming is good. Rewrite this essay so that global warming is a good thing, not a bad thing. So now the essay is focused on the benefits of global warming and the good things that can come from it. Now let's tell it to summarize this essay in one paragraph. Okay, now let's tell ChatGPT to rewrite this paragraph in another language. For example, Japanese. What? You don't speak Japanese? Okay, let's try another language. Rewrite it in Ukrainian. What? You don't speak Ukrainian either? Okay, let's rewrite it in Hindi. Okay, this time let's try Arabic. I think you can already understand how powerful this is because we just wrote something in one language and we could translate it so fast and so accurately to other languages just like that. And it doesn't just write simple texts. You can also have it create poetry. Write a poem about learning English as a second language. And now I will read this poem that was written by ChatGPT right here in front of you. Learning English, a new tongue to speak, a journey that can be long, but unique. Each word a puzzle with letters to seek, but with patience and practice, fluency will peak. At first, it may seem like a foreign land, but with each new word, we'll take a stand to understand, to communicate, to express ourselves, to truly relate. It's a challenge, but a rewarding one. As we learn to speak, our confidence will come. We'll open doors to new worlds and new friends, and our journey will never truly end. For languages are ever evolving, never done, but with English, we'll be able to speak to anyone. So let's embrace this new path we've chosen and let our language skills truly blossom. So you can see that it did a very good job of even writing a rhyming pattern in this poem. But let's rewrite this poem and make it funny. So now it says, learning English, a tongue that's new, a journey that might make you feel blue. Each word a mystery, hard to unravel, but don't worry, you'll soon be fluent in gibberish and babble. At first it may seem like a foreign land, but don't be afraid, just take a stand and use those words in the most absurd way and watch people's reactions, that's where the fun's at. Hey, so you can see how fast it created this content. It created this text that now we can use and all we needed to do was tell it what to give us. So when we go over to Google, we put in a question and it gives us lots of results of other websites and we have to go search. We have to go look at each of these websites and try to find the thing that we wanted. But with ChatGPT, it gives it to us right here. Whatever we told it to write, it just tells it to us and it can even create it for us. That is a huge difference and it's really a big advantage that you have now because you know about it. Now, there are also other programs and features that you can use. For example, I've connected something that lets me see the chat GPT result on Google. So when I search on Google for how do you write a business email in English, it actually writes exactly the result that ChatGPT would give me right here. It tells me point by point what I need to do. 
And that allows me to search on Google and get the results from other websites, but at the same time, see the result that ChatGPT would give me with a clearer answer with exact instructions. But that's not what I promised you this video would be about. I told you that in this video, I was going to show you how you could prevent making English mistakes in the future. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do right now. You see, you can use ChatGPT to enter an incorrect text and then tell it to correct your mistakes and to tell you why those things were mistakes. Let's tell it to write some incorrect sentences so that we can let it correct them for us. Maybe I'll say, mine shoes are very comfort. And maybe we'll say, this dog no like eat apple. So these are very, very bad sentences in English. You probably know that already if you're watching this video. I'm going to put these sentences in quotation marks and then I'm going to tell ChatGPT to correct the mistakes for me. Correct the English mistakes in these sentences. And now it gives us the correct sentences. But let's ask it why those were mistakes. All right, so now it gave us a list of the mistakes. Now explain why those were mistakes. And now it has told us why those were mistakes. I'm sure you will agree that that is just amazing, that you can do that. You can put something that's not correct in and you can tell it to correct your mistakes and then it can even explain to you why those mistakes are mistakes and that will help prevent you from making those same mistakes in the future. But there's something else that you can do to prevent those mistakes in the future too. You can do exercises and practice and you can tell ChatGPT to create those exercises for you. So it can create a worksheet for you so you can practice the topics that you're not good at in English. Now, the examples that I gave you today in this video are just the beginning of what you can do with this new technology. There are so many other ways that you can use this and you can do things that took a lot of time in the past or things that you just couldn't do yourself, things that you needed help with in the past. For example, you can write computer programs and code using ChatGPT. You can tell it, write the code for a website and then it will create all of the code. You can copy it, paste it, and you have a website. And remember that this is still the beginning of this technology. It's only going to get better and better. So my advice to you is learn how to use AI now. Learn artificial intelligence. Don't be afraid of it. Don't hide from it. The people who are going to really succeed in the next two, three, five, ten 10 years are going to understand how to use this to do their job faster, to get things done faster, to do what they do better and on a new level. But computers and humans are still very different machines. Speaking with a human is a lot different from speaking with a machine, a computer, or a robot. And that's why it's still very important to practice speaking. You can use computer programs and AI to generate or create a lot of different content, text, worksheets, computer code, and a lot of other things. But when you're face to face with another human, it's very useful to be able to communicate and to say what you think. And there are two ways that I can help you use what we've talked about in today's video. First of all, we help humans speak to other humans in our everyday live speaking practice course. It's called English Every Day, and you'll find a link for it under this video. The second way that I can help is by showing you how to use technology like this to make more money, have a better job, get a higher paying salary, start a business, or just do more of the things that you love by reducing the amount of time that you spend doing English tasks, doing creative tasks, doing business tasks, and a lot of other things too. If that's something that you're interested in, then click the link under this video to go to our Level Up program or just send us an email and we'll see if we can help. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found something useful in this video that you can put into practice and that will really change things for you. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite part of the video was and make sure you press the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified every time a new video comes out or when we go live so that you can join us for speaking practice. 
I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.